Hi guys, how are you all? Hope you all of you are doing good. Okay, now today we're going to enter the new chapter which we come out in your paper two. Are you okay? Now, for those who are sitting for SPM 2020, the exam will be 2021, right? Okay, you will see this question in your paper number two. Are you okay? Now, the topic name will be circles. Okay, what do you need to know in this chapter? Let me write down the formula you needed for this chapter. Okay, this chapter we will call them as a circles. Okay, this will come out my SPM or not? Yes. If they ask, they will ask in my paper number two. How many questions? One question. Are you okay? And the marks can go up to five until what? Six. Marka dear bole chicha lima in the Marka. Are you okay? Now, what do you need to know in this chapter? Number one, you need to know the formula. Chegu. First formula will be length of arc. Are you okay? Length of arc. Dalam basam na yu kita panggil panjang lengko. Okay? Now, what is the formula for this chapter, sir? Angle at center over 360 times with 2 pi r. Are you okay? Now, second formula will be what? Second formula will be area of sector. Are you okay? Now, dalam bahasa Melayu kita panggil luas sector. Okay. The formula look like same but not same. Angle at center over 360 times with pi r square okay apa beza untuk dua formula ni kalau length of arc ataupun panjang lengkung dekat sini will be 2 pi r are you okay how about for the area here will be pi r square now sir what happened to my r r is stand for what r dikenali dengan jari jari ataupun we call them as what radius are you okay now, angle at center means let me do, then I will explain to you. Now, sekarang, let's take a look on this question. Soalan kata, it is given that OR equals to 7 and RP equals to 7. That means, you must know that O to R is 7, R to P also what? 7. Are you okay? So, we can say the total is what? 14. Are you okay? If here the total is 14, this also become what? 14. So, sir can write at this. Okay? Let me write here 14. Are you okay? Now, sekarang what happened? Your question already tell you angle SRP is 120 degree. So, SRP is what? 120. Now, if you look at this one, huh? the big one, the big one look like a sector. Okay? It's a sector but we will call them as a quadrant. Are you okay? This one we call them sector, this one we call them as what? Quadrant. What is mean by quadrant? Quadrant means 1 over 4 of the circle. Are you okay? Satu per empat daripada satu bulatan. So, kalau dia cakap saja quadrant, automatic sini adalah 90 degree. Are you okay? Now, let's look at your A question. Now, your A, soalan kata the perimeter of the whole diagram. Okay, now, let me write here the A question. Huh? Soalan A, they ask you perimeter, perimeter of whole diagram. Are you okay? Now, dalam bahasa Melayu dia kata apa? Perimeter seluruh raja. Boleh? Now, look at this class. Jom kita lihat dekat sini. Kalau dia kata seluruh raja, that means we must know that ini adalah luar outside. Huh? This one and also this one. Are you okay? Can you take inside? No. Kenapa? Perimeter dia kata seluruh raja ni only outside. Cannot come inside. Are you okay? Kalau soalan kata perimeter untuk kawasan berlori. Kalau dia tanya kawasan berlori, baru dia masuk kawasan ni. This one, this one and the outside one. Are you okay? So now, I need to know my QP. Yes or no? So sekarang you tengok, cikgu. Kalau nak cari QP, this is my QP punya panjang length. Yes or no? So yang ni kita panggil length of arc. Kalau length of arc, automatic I'm going to use my formula number 1. Okay, sekarang cikgu. If I want to use this formula, I must know my angle at center. My angle at center for this guy is uh, look at this one. Uh. Angle at center will be what? 90. If I want to find for SP, this is my S. Uh. If I want to find for SP, then the angle will be what? 120. So in my case, we're going to use here what? 90 degree. Am I right? What line? Okay. So PQ, I'm going to find my PQ. PQ equals to what? 90 degree over 360 degree times. What is the formula? 2. Pi value. Pi value they already give me use 
square. 22 over 7. 22 over 7 times. What is my radius? Okay. Since I'm going to use my QPE, my radius will be what? 14. Are you okay? So we're going to put here what? 14. Are you okay? So you're going to get the answer in what? CM. Are you clear? Let me explain one by one. Uh, another one more time to you. I'm going to find my QB. Since I'm going to find my QB, my angle at center will be what? 90 degree. Why 90? Sabadia kato quadrant. Sukwan. Are you okay? Now, if I want to find for SP, I must use my what? 120. This is the radius for 120. The bigger one radius is what? 14. Are you okay? So now, when you press in your calculator, when you press in your calculator, how to press in calculator, sir? Okay, let me teach you. So you're going to press 90 over 360 times with 2 times with 22 over 7 times with 14. So you're going to get 22. Are you okay? So make sure the unit will be in the CM. So we can write here as what? 22 CM. Are you okay? So now what happened? Sir, I already know this line is 22. Now my question asked me perimeter, am I right? So how to get my perimeter answer? Okay, my perimeter will be, my perimeter will be, so perimeter equals to, what happened? 14 plus 7 plus 7 is 14 plus, what is that? 22, are you okay? So this will be my perimeter, can you get it? So what will happen sir? 14 plus 14 plus 22, you're going to get 50. Are you okay? So my answer for perimeter will be 50 cm. Are you okay? Now, kalau soalan kata, kalau soalan kata, kawasan berlori, perimeter untuk kawasan berlori. Kalau you tengok kawasan berlori, my kawasan berlori will be like this, like this, like this, like this, then only like this. Are you okay? So these are the part where I call for what? Colored region. Sekarang dia kata seluruh raja whole diagram. Whole diagram is only outside. Are you okay? Now, let's go for the second B question. Okay? Sekarang, look at this. Huh? Let me parang this. Sir, what happened to my B? Soalan B dia kata what you know? Find the area of shaded region. Okay, look at my B. Huh? This is my B question. Find the area of the shaded region. Calculate the area of shaded region. So let me write my B question here. Calculate area of shaded region. Area of shaded region. Are you okay? Dalam bahasa Melayu dia kata, cari luas kawasan yang berlori. Are you okay? Now, come back to this question class. Okay. When I want to find for kawasan berlori, what happened? First, we must find the big one. Then I must remove the white color. Then only I can get the shaded region. Am I right? So let me find for the big one. Okay. If I want to explain with the diagram form, let me explain like this. Okay. This is my quadrant. My quadrant here 90. And my radius here will be 14. Then the small one, this one, the sector. The sector is like this. Here is 120. My radius will be 7. Are you okay? This answer minus this answer. I will get something like this. Are you okay? So this is how the shape look like. Are you okay or not? So first we have to find for this. If we talk about area, I am going to use this formula. Are you okay? So now, let's say I am using this formula, the big one. So what happened to this? The angle will be what? 90 over 360 times with pi r square. My pi will be what? 22 over 7. Dara dengan 14 square. I will get the answer for this. Are you okay? Then, how about this one? Also same thing. Here we are going to put what? 120 over 360 times 22 over 7 times. Now my radius is representing what class? Jejari sayang mewakili berapa? 2 jo. So I am going to put that what? 7 cosa 2. Are you okay? So I will get this answer. But remember, for area, my answer will be cm square. My answer will be cm square. Are you okay? Now, so let me calculate for you, sir. How to calculate? Very simple. Take the calculator and then you can press 90 over 360 times 22 over 7 times 14 square. 
Are you okay? You will get 154. So, sir, so we'll write here 154 cm square. Are you okay? Then, how about the next one? 120 over 360 times 22 over 7 times with 7 square. So, you will get what? 51, 1.33, yeah? you change it to decimal. Okay, we will get 51.33. So, we can write here this answer will be 51.33 cm square. Are you okay? But now, my question, they ask me what? Find the area of shaded region. So, when you know the 154, your people must be very clear. 154, this one. Are you okay? Then the 51.33 is for this part. Now, my question want me for the shaded region. My shaded region, this one, one yes or no? So what are we going to do? We are going to plus the answer or minus the answer? Minus the answer. So what are we going to do? We are going to write back here. So area of shaded region. Okay. Area of shaded region equals to what? 154 cm square minus 51.33 cm square. When you minus both, then you can get the area of shaded region. Are you okay? So how sir? Okay. Now. 154 minus 51.33 so you will get 102.67 so our answer is going to be 102.67 cm square are you okay class so here i would like to highlight something in this chapter you must know mainly two formula the two formula you must take a tau do a formula formula pertama adalah panjang lengkung okay let me write in pm for you Nama dia kita panggil panjang lengkung. Are you okay? Lengkung. So, length of arc. Sudut tengah bahagi dengan 360 darab dengan 2 pi r. This formula to find your length. Apa tu panggil length dia tu? Okay, length mean, let me put with the black color. This is what we call them length. Are you okay? Now, so what happened to this one? Ini kita panggil luas sector. Okay, luas sector. So this is the formula but make sure ini 2 pi r, ini pi r square. Are you okay? So ini adalah untuk mana class? Kita ada satu macam ni. So kalau you guna formula ni, you adalah cari untuk luas dia punya area this one. Are you okay? So class, we are done with the circles understanding. I will see you for the part 2 for the different question. Thank you very much.